Today, Public Safety Minister Ralph Goodale announced that solitary confinement is finished, replaced by strategic intervention units. The key word there is intervention, uh, whereas un under the other system it was segregation. Uh, so the, the whole approach has been, has been uh, uh, inverted, if you will. It's not ending segregation. Not ending segregation for anyone with mental health issues. It's just a new name. It's been 11 years since Ashley Smith, a 19-year-old from New Brunswick with serious mental health problems, died of self-strangulation in her solitary cell in a federal prison in Ontario. The coroner's inquest into her case helped pave the way for the changes announced today. But Ashley's mother says the changes fall far short of what she hoped for. It's a sham. It's a travesty that it's done in Ashley's name. Ashley Smith spent months at a time in segregation, and her mother says that's the first thing that should have changed. We had fought for maximum five days and 60 days over um, a year, and nobody's touching that. Under the new bill, a prisoner would be entitled to four hours a day outside a cell, including two hours of what's called meaningful contact with other people. Prisoners' rights groups say that is an improvement if it actually happens. Even now, uh, prisoners are often approached at five or six in the morning when it's bleak cold outside and say, would you like your hour of cell time now? And they say, no, thank you, I'd rather continue my sleep. And that would be a denial of, you know, denial of the opportunity. The changes are also being criticized from the other side of the equation, the guards. A little bit worried because it appears in the bill that they're moving away from that disciplinary type of uh, regime, which we need. Uh, to, to, uh, to manage uh, the most violent behavior in our facilities to more of a, you know, a therapeutic uh, type of unit. The government is introducing this bill as it fights two lawsuits that aim to force it to end segregation, and it's hoping the changes in this bill will be enough to make those lawsuits go away. Evan Dyer, CBC News, Ottawa. To give you an idea of just how many people this could affect, there were more than 14,000 inmates in federal institutions in the 2016-17 fiscal year. About a quarter of men and 40% of women would have spent some time in segregation. The average length of stay, 22 days, with women generally spending less time there than men.